excited to get back out there and uh, you know just play football again. Did you feel like you were back to your regular form that you were in OTAs? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you know, it's definitely just the fact that I've been out for a little while. Just you know, just getting into the groove. Um, you know, the speed of the game and just um, just you know, just kind of. Uh, making sure I just go out there, just not, not not go, you know, just too hard, and just make sure I just get the reps I'm getting, and just make sure, uh, you know, I'm making, um, you know, good reps and solid reps, and make sure I'm not overdoing it. So you kind of want to ease your way back in. Yeah, what they just said, just make sure, you know, I'm being smart. Just don't go out there and just go crazy. But I felt fine. I felt good, and you know, I'm back to 100. percent I saw a couple of the guys. There were a lot of guys that they brought back today, trying to get people back for the game. Mm -hmm. I saw a couple of guys in the middle of Watson pass in to go out early. Was there any worry in your mind that maybe maybe you came back a little early as well? Um, no, not necessarily. Um, that's the thing here. You know, you, you got you, you, They're a lot smarter here. Um, who's to say? You know, I might have felt better. You know, a couple of days ago and could have went then. But um, it's just about being smart, um, not rushing it. Uh, and just making sure you're 100% before you go back out there. I know, oh, I'm sorry. I know back on draft day, they were, you were saying that you have an upright running style, you know, compared yourself to like Peterson and, and McFadden. Have they tried to change your running style since, you know, you, um, you talked on uh, draft day? No, um, not, not, not necessarily. I guess um, just, it's, it's really just about, you know, when you get in traffic, uh, you, you, you get one-on-one -on -one with guys or, you know, just make sure you got to, me, my, my frames, make sure I'm getting low, you know, bending my knees and getting my pads down uh, so I don't take hits or take big hits, you know, because I'm a big frame. So, um, and, and that's something I knew going into it. So, um, you know, I'm just making sure I'm emphasizing that, you know, in the running back drills and definitely when we get in these team periods, just making sure I'm staying low. Even here, so that you want, you're trying not to take hits, you know, basically probably in the lower body area and stuff like that. You've never wanted to shy away from contact. You, uh, I mean, you must be pretty eager to finally get to hit somebody else. Yeah, for to. sure. I'm, I'm excited, man. You know, uh, it's been, it's, you know, since it's been a while since I played, you know, uh, against another opponent as far as, you know, not being a, my own team since back in college. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to go out there and just be able to go, uh, go out there and play. And, uh, you know, it being now at this level, uh, you know, I'm anxious. Have you been overwhelmed at all coming to the NFL level? Because, you know, a lot of rookies, you know, they, it's a speed and they're trying to process everything. It's sometimes um, a little slow for them. Where, where are you? Uh, not necessarily just being overwhelmed. Um, I think just the fact that now that, you know, this is my job and that's how you got to treat it. And, um, you know, it's a lot more installation. But I think just the fact that I'm not going and taking classes or going to school anymore, this is, this is it for me. So uh, uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm in that aspect. I'm not overwhelmed just because I have the time, and you just got to put the time in, you know, make sure you're in your playbook if you're a rookie, and just make sure you're going out there and executing.